Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna start the video with few announcements. First of all, I've made my own Discord channel. Yes, it's maybe a little bit early, I'm not popular at all, but I'm gonna be happy even if uh, there would be like three people, including me. I've made a Discord channel, The Wanderer. Everyone is welcome to join. We could uh, like stay in touch, uh, talk about some topics and everything. And also, uh, because I post here on this channel quite rarely, you could be in touch with me and you could see that I'm fairly working on settlement, so that I'm doing something. Uh, this channel is a little bit empty yet, but there would be content, I guess. <laughs> so mm, you're welcome to join uh, my Discord channel. Uh, let's be together. The next important thing I would like to talk about is um, this next gen update. So basically, I guess I got lucky. So I have all of my mods in place. I suppose I had no mods using Fallout Script Extender. Uh, and I so far I've experienced no crash screens. I've experienced no missing textures. But I've experienced one problem and this is uh, quite bothering me. The thing is, I could not enter mods menu. I would place a picture here, I would not create it right now, but I could not enter mods menu from the main menu. And uh, despite that, I could enter creation club menu easily. Creation club menu opens correctly. Mods menu, I get message operation could not be completed. I searched the internet for the solution, but uh, solutions there are um, rather useless. It uh, doesn't work. Uh, so if you face the same problem, uh, please give a suggestion because I had all of my mods uploaded from Bethesda.net. I had only Bethesda.net mods, so no other sources, because for some reason my Nexus mods were not working. But that's a whole other story. I only had Bethesda mods. And now I could not enter the page itself. So I only like have mods that I have now, and I could not download any more mods. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit sad, uh, but I'm like, well, no mods for me anymore. I could not enter the mod page. I could not like download anything or rearrange my mods. So give a suggestion, please. What do you think about it? Or better, join Discord server and there give your suggestions. So about the settlement, as you can see, it was completely rebuilt. I've made a kind of a junky wall here and we approach our checkpoint here. I've decided to keep a train theme in this settlement as much as possible, but not to like overdo this as it was back then in a previous uh, Overland Station iteration. So I've made a little train here for incoming traders to pass through. The main idea is that this settlement is uh, also a kind of a trade caravan stop and we have a passage through for people who don't want to, like, stay here for long. But the main lore idea here is that the settlement was quite popular back then, and businesses were quite successful, but with the rise of more popular and more wealthy settlements, like Grey Garden, for example, uh, people started leaving this settlement, and some of the businesses went bankrupt, some of the homes were abandoned, but nonetheless, the settlement still hangs on, still standing, 
Not everything is so bad, but people are living. In the middle of the settlement, we have a diner with bar. I've called this diner the station, you know, train theme, and I've made a little, like, steam engine scale model here. And also, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. I've moved this watchtower. I've moved it quite a bit in order to be able to make a platform we've been on. Inside of this watchtower, I've made a little interior. It's some kind of an office for the overseer of this station, of this rest stop. I've made a little place for Brahmin. Here we have our lagging interior of this diner. It's quite simple. I've tried to like not overdone the details, but to make this thing believable enough. Next, we have our ring house. Very small. Nothing interesting, besides that I've managed to do this thing with a tree to make it fit, to make a cutout in the roof, and not to remove this tree, because I quite like it. So, we're back on the main street for now. And here we have our little clinic. The main idea is that little businesses are located here. Not big, wealthy businesses, but these little, little shops. Also, as you can see, I've been trying to create a little separation with this wire fence between the main street and main area with uh, caravans and all of this noise and our residential area where we have little cozy homes like that. And also we have some decorations, Halloween decorations, from this update.
this house is supposed to be house of a weapons shop owner. Next we have my little experiment, an abandoned shop. So this is a shop that went bankrupt, a closing shop. We have this cozy yard. And this is supposed to be an abandoned house. I've made it like boarded up with nails, with actual nails. And I've been using the nail gun. I've been shooting nails to create this effect. Next, we have another abandoned house with interior. And you could see what I've been trying to achieve here. An abandoned look. Write in the comment section whether you like it or not. Next, we have a general trader, Dan, with his own little shop. I liked this feature that I've made by scaling down wire gates. And inside we have a bunch of clutter, as it should be. Up there, I've decided to build a little hut for him. Next, we have our gun shop. Here I decided to make a little hotel hostel thing because obviously a lot of people, still a lot of people, uh, comes to this settlement, trade caravans, and they sometimes need to spend the night. So I've aligned a bunch of containers with wooden structures to make this wasteland looking hotel. And we, of course, have uh, individual rooms. Not much going on here, because it's a basic cell to sleep and to rest a little bit. And we, of course, have a balcony here to look upon this interesting looking settlement. Okay, actually, the above view 
seems to be more interesting. We could spot a ton of differences between the last time I've shown you this segment. And actually, a lot of planning went to this segment. I had plans to arrange areas, to arrange specific areas, because I like to have a dedicated zones in my settlements. So I've imagined that in such kind of a settlement, it's a small settlement, a diner or some food place, bar would be the central area. From above, you could clearly see that we have a central building, we have a road, which is wide and cleared up of all the trash. And we have all the small businesses and residential houses sticking to the sides of the settlement. So, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for sticking around. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my Discord channel. And let's have a little before and after comparison. Good luck and goodbye.